Hello, Josh here. And Michelle. And we are Adventures, Adventures Ahead. Ahead. Coming from the beautiful Carnival Sunshine. Our state, our state room. room. And today we are going to be doing the pros and cons of the Carnival Sunshine. I'll, some might say it's an honest review yeah. of the Carnival Sunshine. We ain't lying. Nope. <laughs> this is... We spent four days on here, and we know what's up now. Yeah. So we're going to start off with the pros it's list. The good so. before the bad, right? So, Michelle, you want to start off with one of the good? Yeah, the Serenity deck on this ship, awesome. Yep. It's, it's a banger, for it's, sure. It's one of the best, honestly. It's it really is. three floors. It's got a pool. Like, lots of place. Serenity decks don't have a pool. Even though we didn't use it, we think, gosh, that is... One of the best selling points of the ship. Yep, yeah, or the eighteen or over Serenity deck. Mm -hmm. Is it eighteen or twenty one? I think it's twenty one. Twenty one. Whoops. Um, the next is the staff has been great on this ship. Top honestly. notch. Um, our room store is awesome. The people deliver the room service down to the people serving us at restaurants. People taking your plates, washing the floors, and all that. The staff have been very nice, very friendly. Yep, I agree. In every instance. I haven't had one issue with any of them. Mm -hmm. So, the next I would say is the ship has been pretty clean. Now, there is an asterisk next to this clean, and that's in the cons. So, we will we'll talk, more, we will about talk more about that later. But overall, the ship has been very clean and, and really nice. Yeah, we see lots of people um, cleaning all over the ship, like more than normal, I think. To yeah, be honest. yeah, they're cleaning a lot. Probably because so. there's a ton of people on here. Yep, so I'd say it's pretty <laughs> clean. Um, I would say the response to any issues that we had was very good. Uh, we did have some issues. Um, we had to call our room steward to come pick up a couple laundries, and he was always usually right on it. And um, we had issues. So this goes into another thing. Um, our guest services being very helpful, guest service. Um, it goes with the issues. We uh, Everybody on the ship, not just us, the Carnival Hub app is on the fritz. With on the, the ship. On this ship, for whatever reason, the internet and different things just is, is a bad experience there. Um, so that's uh, um, on a different list. But um, We purchased so, the chat and um, we couldn't use it mm -mm. and they were able to refund us. They refunded us the, the 10 bucks for the chat simple no questions asked mm -hmm. so that was great um i would say the next is the specialty dining on this ship is very good ggs and kachina knocked it out of the park in my opinion well and for the size ship it is with having two specialty restaurants and a steakhouse like and a bonsai sushi. and a sit down bonsai yes. that's crazy i love it and i wish more ships this size had more specialty restaurants. Yes, yes, definitely. I think they should, if they're going to go forward with all these big ships, which I, is good, but they maybe should do some more reinventing of their old ships, add more specialty dining mm -hmm. and different things like that. So Agreed. Um, but, yeah, the specialty restaurants have been, the food has been great and everything. Uh, the breakfast buffet omelet stations are really good, in my opinion. So this goes back to it's the omelet stations are at Kachina and at Gigi's and not all not all the time they're open at the same time. Sometimes one side's open, one's not. But this morning they were both open. And the good thing about it is you go up there and get your omelet, and they have a select number of things from the buffet that they can make you a plate up with your omelet. So like I had some French toast some sausage and some grits with my omelet this morning and I didn't have to go stand in the egregious <laughs> Lido Marketplace buffet line, right Michelle? Yeah, that's on a different list. So yeah. So yeah, so the omelet stations in in Kachina and Gigi's great idea. Mm -hmm. Um carnival. Um oh, there's one that we did not say on here, what but I'm going it? to on embarkation day in the Ocean Plaza, they have barbecue set up. And on, it's only on embarkation day. And it was good. I'm not going to lie. It was, I like it. Um, and I thought it was pretty good. Fresh, 
and good. I only we had went, fish and mac and cheese, but it was good. Yeah, and we went there on embarkation day, and that's the only day they have it on the Carnival Sunshine. So. That kind of goes into another one where they have snacks around the ship in different places where you can get food, so they have that. They have pastries at the um, Java Blue Coffee Bar, which I don't think every ship has. They have some Cuban Bites at the Havana Bar. They just have lots of different spots where you can get something. Right, and it's good. Um, so the casino is really nice, in my opinion, laid out pretty well. And it has a very good variety of slot machines at the casino at the casino um really good variety of slot machines in my opinion so um very enjoyable and it's it's easy to find a machine that you can play because there's a lot of good ones mm -hmm. um not people sewing up the same good same ones all ever all day you know uh the coffee shop has been on top of it oh yeah coffee shop's always great um fast friendly and very good products at the coffee shop mm -hmm. on the on board. Um, the room service has been very fast. I mean, you call it in, and we got it within twenty minutes usually. Is it? Have we ordered two or times or three, three times? Twice breakfast and one. Oh, no, no, four. Four times. Twice breakfast and twice lunch. Breakfast is really quick. It's probably the time that we're ordering two though, because we've been up really early yeah. on this cruise. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, and then we did say guest services was very helpful. Yep, and then also we had a very comfy bed. Yes, I'd say like on the Mardi Gras, our bed wasn't as comfy we felt like. It was like a rock. <laughs> but this bed has been super comfy. Yes. Another pro is that our room was ready on embarkation day at 11 a.m. Yes. And our cards were on the, the mantle thing. Right. So I don't know if that's because we're platinum or what. I mean, because I didn't know if they brought that back or not. But they were ready at 11 o'clock. It was great. It was great. It was awesome. So um, laundry service has been excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, we're actually waiting on some laundry right now. Um, they have it to you usually by mid-afternoon. And yeah. um, it's great. So, I'd say yeah. also on this ship, as long as you get it in by 11, is what our guy told us, you'll get it back the same, same day, day. Which so. is like 3 o'clock usually. Yeah. 3 or 4. So that's the end the of pros. our pros. That's now the pros. Now to the cons. Now here's the part that I like. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so we're on to the cons. So, okay, this goes into what we said. We said that the ship is pretty clean, but not the public bathrooms. Not, no, 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 no. Listen, not all of the public bathrooms. But I would say, I would say several of the public bathrooms on the ship were not as clean as they could have been in my opinion you could tell they've been neglected now now we haven't had that issue on other ships other ships they're usually pretty well maintained oh and the handicapped bathroom by the casino has been closed since we got on board um so that's inconvenient for some of the handicap or whatever but it, like why has it been closed for three days i don't know but it has been yeah i'd um, say um i haven't really I know people don't treat the restrooms probably the best. Right. So they should, because it's a shared space and, you know, we all have to use the restroom. Uh, but this overall has been probably one of the worst uh, cleanliness of restrooms. Yeah, restrooms. I would say that they're definitely neglected. Um, I don't know if that's what the reason for that is because we have a lot of people on board or what right I so i would say and i wouldn't say it's every bathroom but i would say the ones that we visit often by the casino and a couple others can't remember where they're at but um yeah the bathrooms definitely have been a little bit neglected i would say mm -hmm. okay the next is uh the internet and the app issues now we didn't buy internet for this ship we just didn't we were no. like four days we don't need it we can disconnect but the app is important to check into your dining and to see what you want to do. And they want to run all this stuff through an app instead of handing out the papers. And you actually you can request a paper. But you got to make sure this stuff works. Yeah, yesterday, and it did not. all day, I could not do anything on the app. No, I couldn't even log in. Mine was working all right, but Michelle's was having a lot of issues. But we soon realized that it was a widespread issue and it wasn't just us. Yep. I mean, a lot of people, and they were having issues with the dining check-in and everything. They were having to sign people up as they came in. Well, it's just hectic for the workers, I'd say. Yeah, like, yep. I'm sure it's, I mean, they're 
happy right. when it's working. So. so it was something to do with that. The app issues or internet, I don't know what it was, but it was bad. And I think it was more of the app issues because I mine was fine. Well, yeah, and I could connect to the Carnival Liberty. Right. So, um... Uh, Lido Marketplace setup, so the buffet setup. Horrible, in my opinion. They have small stations. I hate it. Nah, it's horrible. We like a tr I like a traditional like line buffet, not certain stations broke up. It just is a little bit chaotic because mm -hmm. there's so many people and nobody knows who's in line. Everyone's just standing there. It's hard to even walk through. Even if they have a sign that says line starts here, you got people going every which way. Mm -hmm. So, and even if they don't mean to, I'm not saying they're cutting and stuff on it's purpose. Just confusing. Right. Um, and so, yeah, the Lido Marketplace setup is crazy. Uh, the Ocean Plaza seating is a con. We said this on a fluffy video, but. Yeah, it's, which will come out later. Yes. But it's, it is a con. It's a big enough con we had to include it in here. Yeah, it should be uh, some couches or something. It's just chairs and there's some bench seating or tall chairs, but I don't know. I just feel like there should be some other kind of different seating mm -hmm, there. I agree. Uh, the next one is the bar service and casino. So I'm not sure, like Josh and I haven't really drank that much this time. So we We've haven't had one drink. So we still tip every drink. Yeah. But we're not tipping five, six dollars a drink like sometimes we can when we're drinking. But I don't feel like you should have to do that. Right. We have drinks on the casino, so that means we get drinks while we're playing. Right. And I feel like, gosh, you have to flag a waiter, waiter down. Yep. Um, I was like, man, and, and also when you order drinks, they take a lot longer. And I feel like, listen, I feel like we've been in there when the casino has only been busy once, and that was yesterday, that we played during the day when it wasn't that busy, and it was, it, the drinks were taking far too long when they're not busy. Well, and also, like, um, I even stayed, we stayed at a machine even, like, 20 extra minutes because I ordered a drink. Oh, then the guy just totally a forgot. Pepsi. And then he looked at me and said, oh, you moved. No, I didn't move. Yeah, he tried to say, <laughs> you guys moved, and that's why I couldn't find you. No. No. Nope. Actually, you just forgot. And then he tried to say, oh, well, we have to buy it if you guys don't. I said, well, but that's well, our fault. I didn't fault. move, Because so. we stayed at the same machine. Yeah. It's, it's your fault, pal. <laughs> we um, still tipped them. Oh, and, yeah, we still you know, tipped them. We weren't We're mean buying, them. like, we're, we're getting Diet Pepsis and Pepsis. And we're tipping a dollar or two. On a pop. On pops. Right. That's, you know, I think, gosh, that's pretty good. And you don't have to, even have to make anything. Right. Right. Um, so this goes for Michelle and other smokers in the casino. Some guy told you what? Jim, my friend Jim said. Cigarette Jim. I got this cup coffee cup first day he said i got this coffee cup full of liquid because they're stingy with ashtrays and i was like what i've never heard of a casino being stingy with ashtrays and listen it's, it's true. the truth <laughs> nobody wants to hand out ashtrays and you have to go and fight for an ashtray michelle asked our server and what did he tell you no that's a housekeeping thing yeah that's not what us. okay we've been in plenty of casinos on carnival ships and michelle's asked the waiter, and he has got us an ashtray. Yeah. But not here. Not on the sunshine. They're not giving you I an just, ashtray. Well, and, like, nobody wants to hand them out. I went up to the bar and asked. They don't have them. I'm like, who has these ashtrays? Yeah. I don't know. It's just ridiculous. Well, then people just use unconventional ashtrays. So if you want to have sick stuff around, uh, then that's right, you. Right. And you have a smoking and a non-smoking. And you know the people that are smoking cigarettes are in there playing... 50 size. and but they're playing 50 percent longer than people that are not smoking in my opinion mm -hmm. i mean they're just there because they want to smoke cigarettes so well give out the ashtrays people I don't think, be freaking honestly stingy. i think every station in the sm smoking section should have an ashtray that's just how it should be there should be a lot of them yeah there should be plentiful it shouldn't be i'm looking for 10 minutes trying to find an ashtray someone ain't using yeah that's, that's nuts. dumb I mean, I know it's a nasty habit. It's something that people do, me included, on vacation. But you choose to. Yeah, and like, you want to do it the right way. You don't. You there could be a fire hazard for not having an Mich ashtray. Well, Michelle couldn't find one, so she used my Pepsi, old, uh, empty Pepsi can the yep. other day. So okay, let's get on to a new one. Um, the buffet selection for dinner 
is poor, in yeah. my opinion. We went there the other night for dinner, and it's not like I couldn't find anything to eat. I'm not saying that. I could have went someplace on got food, pizza, whatever, and we did. We ended up going to the deli mm -hmm. instead because the buffet food was just kind of like, there was like two things that I liked. I mean, granted, there was other things in the buffet, but it wasn't I, I a think big like selection. I total, they have like six selections of things. It just wasn't, and that's including sides. Yeah. Sides. So. It's kind of nuts. Yeah, I, I, I just felt like when we were just on the Legend, they had a lot more choices. So, I would say that. Um... Oh, we went to, so we went to get our pins, our sunshine pins. Because for, we're platinum. For, no, that's just your pin for oh, the ship. But platinum that, gets a specialty pin. Sure. <laughs> um, and we went there and they're like, we're out of, we are out of sunshine pins. But we do have sunrise. It's like, okay, well, like we're not on the sunrise for once, for one, but like okay we'll take it because whatever but yeah they're out of these pins and he said we he told the person in front of him that they've been out of these pins for two weeks so three I don't, three weeks so yeah. i don't know what's going on there the supply thing whatever but i thought that was just a uh, it's a minor thing but it's yeah. just still kind of silly like okay we don't have sunshine but we'll give you sunrise okay yeah. i don't know um I'd say overall, the ship needs a lot of TLC. I'd say the last two things are the biggest things yeah. about this ship. One is the TLC. The ship needs, definitely it needs some sprucing up. It There's needs like things some rust fixed. marks. Just even in our room, right? Like we have tiles coming up. Yep, we have lots Lights, of paint chipping. Water and damage, and rust in the bathroom. In the bathroom. Yes, big chunks of rust spots. I mean, you could probably put your toe on it and break it all off. Mm -hmm. Um, and I understand that a lot of water and there's only certain things that you can do, but yeah, definitely the ship needs some TLC. It needs some love for sure. It needs some remodeling. Just some, even just repairs. Well, repairs. That's what I meant. And like when I was in the bathroom, there's like this thing against the wall. It's like, it's like decor, but it also serves a purpose where you can like move it. And I think there's stuff behind it, like storage. But it like is loose from a wall, and so when the ship rocks, it goes clang, clang, clang. In clang. our bathroom? No, in the oh. bathroom in the casino. Oh. So that's that. Um, <laughs> now the biggest issue that we have with this ship, and we had it with this ship in 2018, and nothing has changed, has nothing. it? Nothing. It is, in our opinion, and we've been on 12 cruises. This is our 13th. This is our 13th. This is... Without a shadow of doubt, the rockiest ship in Carnival's fleet that we've been on. Like, there is nothing. It's moving right now. It's, mo it's, it's been just, moving all... It's in, if we're, the ship is moving, it's the ship is rocking. It doesn't matter. It no. doesn't matter what the ocean's like. It's not even bad out at all today. There's no waves, basically. And there's... <laughs> substantial movement yeah like i'm moving in bed like this yeah like last night uh you would have thought we were going through a, a hurricane it yeah there was, was like <laughs> seriously this ship is the rockiest in my opinion and, and i don't know I why wanna say we did actually go through a hurricane yes on our last cruise and it was nothing compared to this ship also listen that is something i've heard Lots of people complain about in the elevators, around, at bar, in a casino, about how rocky this ship is. And I don't know what it is about this ship, but it was that way It was that way in 2018. And we thought, oh, is this just a fluke? It's not. It's not a fluke. This ship, this ship is, is rocky. very rocky. Not that we have an issue with being sick, because we don't. We take ball nine. But it's something people should know when they board this ship. Mm -hmm. It is rocky. No yeah. doubt. So... Hey, man, we better put a cap on this video. It's gone 20 Ooh. minutes. But we had a lot to say about the Carnival Sunshine in four short days, and we had a lot to say. Yeah. So, okay, guys, anything you guys want to ask us, questions, comment below. And like, comment, subscribe. And Join also, our Facebook group over Adventures Ahead Cruising Group. That's right. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>